Hi everyone! Today, we are going to discuss the Microsoft Excel. At the end of this video, you should be able to use functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet tool to perform advanced calculations on numerical data. Are you ready? Let's go! Spreadsheet Spreadsheet software such as Microsoft Excel is among the most used software applications. This can be used to enter all sorts of data and perform mathematical calculations. Some things to note about spreadsheets are as follows. Number 1. Formulas in spreadsheets calculate the volume in a cell. Number 2. There are predetermined formulas that are already available in spreadsheets known as functions. Formula The formula performs operations, calculations, and analysis. In declaring the formula in the MS Excel worksheet, you must start with an equal sign. Forgetting to type the equal sign will be interpreted by the computer as a character. Functions Function or built-in function is ready to use formulas that can be accessed by simply highlighting the specific part or parts of the worksheet. Built-in functions also enable the user to create a formula easily which includes two or more cells or a range. The range is a collection of cells with values. Now, are you ready to learn how to perform the formulas? Let's go! As you can see here, I already prepared the data that we will be using to perform the formulas and functions. Our data is all about the scores of students in quizzes number 1 and number 2. But before we can effectively use the spreadsheet, we must know and be familiarized with the following operations and functions. Let's start with the operations. Number 1. We have addition. In addition, we use the plus sign. Number 2. Subtraction. In subtraction, we use the minus sign. Number three, multiplication. In multiplication, we use the asterisk sign. Number four, division. In division, we use the slash sign. Take note that in performing the formula in a spreadsheet, we must always start in an equal sign. Now, Let's try performing the formula of every operation, starting from the addition. For example, we want to know Jenny's total score of quiz 1 and quiz 2. Now, to perform the formula, we must type in equal sign. Next is the name of the first cell, which is C5. Then, put plus sign, followed by the name of the next cell, which is D5. After typing the formula, do not forget to click Enter to see the result. Try to compute it manually. If your answer is 34, then our formula is correct. Now, let's try subtraction. For example, we want to subtract JK scores from quiz 1 and quiz 2. To perform the formula, type in equal sign. Next is the name of the cell, which is C6. Then Put minus sign, followed by the name of the next cell, which is D6. Do not forget to click Enter to see the result. Is 19 minus 15 equals 4? Correct. It means that our formula is correct. Next is multiplication. Let's try to multiply Irene's scores. To perform the formula, type in equal sign. Next is the name of the cell, which is C6. 
67 followed by the asterisk sign for multiplication and the next is the name of the cell D7 which is the cell of the second score. Do not forget to click enter to see the result. Next is division. Let's try to divide Mina's scores. To perform the formula, type in equal sign, the name of the first cell, followed by slash sign. Next is the name of the second cell, and click enter. And now, we're done with the basic operation used in a spreadsheet. Let's go to the different kinds of built-in functions in a spreadsheet. First, we have SUM. SUM calculates the overall sum of the selected range, for example, from C5 to C11. To perform the operation, type in equal sign, the word SUM, open parenthesis, C5, followed by a colon, C11, and close parenthesis. Don't forget to click enter to see the result. Next is average. Average gets the mean of the given numbers or the selected range. For example, our selected range is from C5 to C11. To get the average, type in equal sign, average, open parenthesis, C5, followed by a colon, C11, close parenthesis, and click enter. Take note that 17 is the quotient of getting the sum of the scores in quiz 1 divided by the number of students. Now, let's have count. Count is used to get the number of entries in a number field or a selected range. For example, our selected range is from D5 to D11. To get the entries from D5 to D11, type in equal sign count open parenthesis D5 colon D11 and close parenthesis. Do not forget to click enter. The answer is 7. Let's count the entries from D5 to D11 to verify our answer. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. We have 7 entries. The same number of entries we get using the count function. Next is the max function. Max function indicates the maximum value on the given range. For example, our selected range is from D5 to D11. To get the maximum value, type in equal sign max open parenthesis D5 colon D11 close parenthesis and click enter as you can see we get 20 in the selected range from d5 to d11 20 is the greatest score it means 20 is the maximum value among the selected range what about the mean mean function that means the lowest cell value included in the argument. For example, let's try to get the minimum value in the selected range D5 to D11. To get the minimum value, type in equal sign mean open parenthesis D5 colon D11 close parenthesis and click enter. As you can see, we get 14. Let's check. From D5 to D11, which among these numbers is the smallest number? Correct, we have 14. It means that 14 is the minimum value in the selected range. 
And now we're done! Don't forget to save your files by clicking the save icon at the top left corner of your screen. Now that you already know the formula and how to perform them, try to practice this formula in your spreadsheet. Remember that with spreadsheet, it is a great way to log, sort, calculate, and analyze volumes of data which is often done in business management, home management such as family income, and expenses. The advanced functions and formulas in an electronic spreadsheet will help us to perform advanced calculations of numerical data. And that would be all for today. This is Teacher Han. Thank you for watching.